and I just want to share on video a little bit of what I've shared with you in print. And there's no way in a few paragraphs or minutes I can share all the things that have happened since March when the COVID-19 virus hit us, but I do want to share with the staff, the frontline staff, once again, and the di direct support professionals, how much gratitude we owe you for hanging in there, for facing down the COVID virus, for being there for countless hours away from your family, your family homes. Thank you for all you've done and all you did. And you picked up the pieces during this crisis. And I also want to recognize the families that have some with support, some without any support, and some with inadequate support who have made it through the crisis. Some things worked during this crisis, right? The expanded assistance through DDS and family support centers and autism support centers. We had expanded funding for the residential services and funding to maintain the day services so that things wouldn't be closed when it was time to go back. But now we have a new future to look at, right? Six months on, we want to go the distance. And to go to the distance, we need to plan. And we need to plan for family supports. We need to plan for day supports and to think about people who can't go to school in person. We need to think about people who can't go to day programs in person. We can't stop at just these emergency steps. I know it's an uncertain revenue picture. I know it's uncertainty ahead. But six months on, we have to think about what people can handle and can't handle. And your advocacy for us to get the best possible solution, best possible equity for our constituents, your advocacy is needed with us. Together, we can do it. And as we work toward things, we'll do them as a bridge to the future. Thinking about new ways of providing services with and without technology that will make a difference for the long term. Let's get together. Join us, Leo Live, on Monday, where we share focus group results that Kerry Mahoney is pulling together, our Director of Education and Outreach, and dialogue about the advocacy that's going to be needed to ensure equity as we look ahead. Thank you.